that uh, yeah, this is really the right place to be this year because uh, the World Championship is growing, it's uh, more and more important uh, and the expectations from the climbers but also from the fans are very high and who better than Austria can organize such events so we are very very happy and we feel as you say on a safe ground being in Innsbruck in Austria. Maybe we can expect around 650 to 700 uh, athletes here in Innsbruck and then around 250 to 300 uh, officials from the different uh, national federations. The Austrian National TV ORF will broadcast all semi-finals and finals live uh, on ORF Sport Plus. That's uh, a really huge benefit for us. In total, it will be around 24 hours of live broadcasting on national TV. Well, also, I'm really excited and looking forward to the World Championships in Innsbruck. Not only for myself, because I'm really excited to compete and I can't wait for it anymore, but also for the paraclimbing athletes to be able to compete. As Michael said already, I've started training with them two years ago. And we started with only three or four people um, training once a week. They climbed four minus maybe on a good day. Um, right now we're almost 20 athletes training up to five times a week. Uh, some of them are really excited for the competitions. It's really a crazy challenge because we are all one of the very, very few sports who, which do it. We do it because we can do it. Because our sport is for all and for everybody. Okay, so yes, I have the pleasure to report um, to you about uh, what is going to be our first Olympic Games, which actually will be the Youth Olympic Games. Uh, so I'm going to give you a few details about, uh, about it. So um, uh, that will be the first event uh, where we, sport climbing, will be, uh, will be having a medal, uh, which is uh, obviously an historical uh, step into, uh, into, uh, into the story of our sport. The format that uh, we'll be, we will be having in this event is the combine. So you know that it's a format that is combining all the three disciplines, starting from speed and bullying and then lead. Climbing is not only about the event. Uh, the Youth Olympic Games is, uh, is an event that is um, where the goal is to, to give to all the athletes participating a larger experience than just competing. The motto is compete, learn and share. And part of this uh, program, the, the, the sport, the IFs, are supposed to, uh, to nominate some athletes role model uh, who can speak about their sport, but then who can also speak to the younger athletes about their experience as elite athletes. Uh, and the, for, for the yoga, we will be having uh, Josh Levin and Charlotte Durif. Josh is, is an American climber and, and, and Charlotte is from France. Uh, they are both uh, talented and, uh, and, uh, and they're, they're, they're just great also when, uh, when it's about telling uh, the passion of climbing. So they will be part of the team in, in Buenos Aires. First, as I said at the press conference, nobody had an experiment. Compared to the other sports, they have a past. They could learn from the past, like uh, you know that the, what happened in Rio and London. But in our case, as as like as same as Australian federations, like uh, combined itself is already a challenge. And also the organization of the Olympic organizing committee, I would say it's a quite huge uh, organization. What I found is that they already have a 52 function earlier. So I really have to communicate well with those people who involved with the Olympic Games. And also physically, to, to make a success, the climbing outside in the summer in the Tokyo, it's, it's already one big challenge. So maybe, you know, too many things a challenge in front of us. We are pioneering in Tokyo to, well, actually in Buenos Aires first, and then in Tokyo to new concept for the Olympic Games, for the future Olympic Games. One is the Urban Cluster. The Urban Cluster is a place that will, for the first time in history, will give, of course, place for the, um, for the events, for the competitions, but also there will be a, a, an area open to public for initiations. That means that those who want to go there and climb, they will have an infrastructure at their disposal to climb. And this is something completely new that 
never happened before. In addition to that, in order to reduce cost, we are sharing the venue with basketball three on three. So what one could say, could imagine, you share the venue, you share the risk, you share the challenges, so it's easier. No way, <laughs> it's actually the opposite. Since this is the first time that this happens, rather than reducing the challenges, we double the challenges. But it's really an exciting experience. So in terms of the qualification system in itself, obviously the major events are going, are going to be into uh, that, uh, that system. Uh, typically the World Championship and so the Continental Championship. Uh, there is a demand from the IOC to, to have a, a continental representation. Um, so we also considered some other uh, rankings. But as I said uh, earlier, the Plenary Assembly is going to confirm uh, what the IOC has proposed so far. And, uh, and if this confirmation is effective tomorrow, we, can, we will be able to, to communicate. 